Well, um, a lot of people have asked me about different um, sizes of whistles, so I thought I would just quickly demonstrate the different um, whistles I have, starting with the smallest, and this is a Feed Dog, Feed Dog, um, a real old one um, from probably uh, the 80s, or around 1980, and I've put a Generation E-flat body on it. To, um, and then here is a feed dog about 1980 uh, with the original body on it. This is another kind of Franken whistle. This is a uh, Walton's head, C head, and then I modified a body to make it play in C sharp. Now this is a generation from once again around 1980, and it's got the original body, the original head, it's not had any modifications to it other than um, packing the cavity with wax. And I've been playing this whistle regularly since uh, I got it new around 1980. This is another one of my Franken whistles. This is a generation B flat. I've made a, I've chopped a body to make it play in B. Now this is a generation B flat with the original head, original body. I've done a lot of modifications to the head and kind of have it all lashed together with super glue and thread. I basically sawed through the window to shorten it, which helps the second octave. And I just love the way this whistle plays. It's so sweet in the high notes. This is another Franken whistle of mine. This is a generation B flat head that was modified by Jerry Freeman. And it's done his modifications where he's put a brass blade in there and whatever he does. I don't know, but it makes him work great. And this is a, an A body I made myself. Franken whistles, and these are off the shelf whistles. My next three are all Burks, and Burks play like Burks pretty much. A G, an F, an E flat. Now, the E flat has a thumb hole, so I have to be careful to cover the thumb hole when I'm playing it. What's the advantage of the thumb hole? I don't know. Like, I don't see the point personally. Now for D, this is a Goldie, Colin Goldie in Germany. And I just I love this whistle, it's my favorite D. This is a Colin Goldie in C. Wonderful playing whistle.
And this is the biggest whistle I have now or I've ever owned. This is uh, made by Alba Whistles in Scotland, and it's a low A. And it's really not that much of a beast to play, but it's kind of long. Thank you. 